What's going on, Robo Nation? Braden here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Olsen Rupee Nozzle, why you should be using it for your high performance materials, and also how to install it on your Robo R2 3D printer. What I really like about this Ruby Nozzle tip is that we've been printing with some highly corrosive materials, everything from stainless steel infused plastic to carbon fiber infused plastic. We've done hundreds of prints and it still maintains its internal integrity. So if you're gonna be getting into high performance materials, this is the nozzle tip for you. The tools you're gonna need for this hot end nozzle swap is two Allen wrenches that come in your Robo 3D printer toolkit. One for loosening your hot end, one for loosening the set screws on your hot end. You need a hexagon wrench that comes with every Ruby nozzle, a seven millimeter wrench, an adjustable wrench, a seven millimeter socket, and a 3D printed nozzle torque wrench. Now I wanna dive into showing you how to install this. What you're gonna to wanna to do is unscrew this screw that's actually right here. This will release your hot end. We'll unplug it from the two plugs here. And this will be the hot end we'll be working with to actually install the Ruby nozzle. Now that you have the hot end off your Robo R2 3D printer, you're gonna to wanna to take off your thermistor and your heater cartridge here. So all you're gonna do is take this small Allen wrench that's in your Robo R2 toolkit you're just gonna loosen these set screws at the bottom here. It'll loosen up both the thermistor and the heater cartridge. Go ahead and pull those off the heater block and set them aside. You can go ahead and leave the set screws in there as well. Now that I have the hot end free of the heater cartridge and the thermistor, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an adjustable wrench. You're gonna go ahead and put it over the heater block here as tight as you can. You're gonna want a nice grip on it. And then I'll grab a seven millimeter wrench and you're gonna put it over the brass nozzle here. You'll actually turn counterclockwise with the seven millimeter and clockwise with the adjustable wrench. So opposite ways and you'll see it'll loosen the brass nozzle here and then you can go ahead and hand twist it off. All right, what you're gonna wanna do is this is called the heat sink and you're gonna have the heat break inside here with the threaded material and the heat block. You're gonna wanna just unscrew the heat block for this step and then you'll actually install the Ruby nozzle all the way on here, just hand tightening it, and then we'll go to the next step. We'll go ahead and take the heat sink again, and we'll tighten that. Like I said, hand tighten it as well. Don't go too tight on it. And then we'll go ahead and put the thermistor and the heater uh, cartridge back into the hot end so we can heat it up and do the last set of tightening. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna actually use this, this Olsen made torque wrench to actually do the final tightening, but you need to heat this up first. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. I'm gonna heat it up to about 210 Celsius. While the nozzle is heating up, I wanted to show you this piece. Um, this is actually your final tightening torque wrench. Uh, it's 3D printed, so it's two separate pieces. One goes inside the other. I'll show you where to find it online. Then you're gonna take a standard seven millimeter socket wrench. You're gonna place it over the top here. And this is gonna be everything you need to make the final finishing tightening adjustments on the Ruby nozzle. All right, now that the hot end's heated up for a few minutes, it's ready to go, it's tightened onto the extruder bracket here. You're gonna take this 3D printed torque wrench and you're gonna take this hexagon wrench, which actually comes with every Ruby nozzle. You're gonna place this over the threaded rods of the heat break here. You'll feel it kind of grab it there and then you're gonna take this torque wrench and put it over the top of the Ruby nozzle. You're gonna turn the torque wrench counterclockwise and you're gonna turn the hexagon wrench here clockwise until you hear a crack. Like that, that means it is tight enough and ready to start printing. Then you'll take your magnetic extruder plate there, put it over the top, and you're ready to start using the Ruby nozzle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this installation video of the Ruby nozzle on the Robo R2 hot end. Like I said, this is gonna make your hot end last a lot longer if you're using highly corrosive materials like stainless steel, bronze infused, carbon fiber infused. So go ahead and pick one up in our store and have fun printing with it.